how's it going welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to as well today we're going to be doing a little study vlog if you're new here hi my name is Francesca I make vlogs hauls routines everything in between if you like any of that you should just go ahead and hit subscribe we'll even wait on you hit subscribe okay so if you guys don't know I haven't talked about it a whole lot I'm currently taking a certification course with Google for e-commerce and digital marketing. Um, so I have been working through that. It's a self-guided course, which in the beginning I was like, yay, something that can allow me to work on my full-time job and YouTube and balance everything. And I have not been doing that. <laughs> so today we're about to do some hardcore studying um, and get caught up on everything that I'm behind on. One of the big things that I noticed when I was going through kind of the course and like working through the process, I wanted to so badly kind of use my tablet to take notes, use my phone to keep up with content um, and like coursework and as easy and nice and on the go as that is, I can do it when I'm at a friend's house, I can do it while I'm on my lunch break. It's convenient. I don't want to sound like I'm getting old, but like paper and pen are so much better. So I made the decision to go back to paper and pen. So I went to Walmart and I picked up a few things. Um, I wanted to grab a few things that I could show you guys that were like under a certain amount. So like these are, this is not aesthetic. I'm on a no buy where I pretty much can only buy things that are necessary. Um, and so I was like, why not also save money? So I got a good old fashioned regular notebook. I didn't want a composition notebook. I wanted something that I can tear pages out if I needed to, put tabs in if I needed to. This is like 96 cent. I got some highlighters. I have really nice erasable highlighters for work, but I did not want to mix them. So I just grabbed some simple yellow, again, 96 cent highlighters. And what I found out, this brand at Walmart, the Pen and Gear, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's actually a woman owned brand. So both of those items are Pen and Gear. So if you want to support a woman owned brand that's a little bit cheaper, make sure you get it from Walmart. And then for pens, I've been using Toll Pens, T-U-L. My boyfriend had gave me one and then someone else gave me one. I had no idea how expensive those pens were. I'm not paying $17 for two pens. That's not happening. That's crazy. Um, the other options of pens that I really like are G2 pens and then the Sharpie pens. So I ended up getting these. These were like $3, which is kind of a lot for two, but... I did really want to have something that was going to be vivid, um, work well with the way that I write, and yeah. So we have all of our gear here. Let's get to studying. If you have to study too, go ahead and get your stuff, get your snacks, get your water. I have my water with me, and let's get down to studying. I'm going to listen to some lo-fi music while we do this. So I'm pulling the course up on my phone. I think I'm gonna start. I think I'm gonna start doing the course's visuals on my tablet. Um, but my tablet's dead right now, and that's not an excuse for me not to study. So this video is not sponsored, but I do take my course through a website called Coursera. They do actually have like a lot of different degree programs, certificate programs that they sponsor. So it's pretty cool because it does have its own app. Um, and you can kind of work through the courses, see the type of activities that you have to do. Um, and then it breaks it down by course and then by the overall like degree or certificate program. Um, I really love this because again, it is very self-guided and yeah, let's dig into it. Far, I've said a lot about brands.
finish my first course video there's normally like a couple of videos and a reading in each um kind of section and so here are my physical notes see how much more organized that is i mean it still looks bad because my handwriting's rough but i am going to go through real quick and highlight there was a lot of vocabulary in this particular section um so we talked about the actual definition of a brand we talked about brand equity um and so i want to highlight those things because vocabulary tends to come up a lot we also talked about like the, the effect that digital marketing has on a brand and i think that is something important to highlight as well i feel a lot more in control of my notes <laughs> like going through and writing them my wrist is not used to writing so it's a little hurt but i like this because So now looking at my notes, you can clearly see the main vocabulary topics and then also see kind of the overall point of the situation for the value of a brand. So now um, I am about to go into brand safety um, and do a little bit of a reading on brand safety and take my notes on that too. in the middle of trying to do this classwork and <laughs> it might be real pops up so we're about to do this together if you do not follow me on be real hold on we need to clean that camera if you do not follow me on be real it will be linked in the description but anyway let let me get back to studying Okay, now that I'm done with both of my readings and I am done with the videos for this particular section, I'm going to take a little mini quiz and I got to sign my honor code and let's hope I pass. <laughs> Let me go back to my notes because when it's open book, honey, why not have your notes? I had a teacher like one time start off their course with if you fail my class, you chose to fail my class because that means that you didn't take notes. And that's how I feel about this course. So I just finished my quiz, ended up getting a 90, I'm going to cover up the questions, but I ended up getting a 90, I got one question wrong on the quiz, um, and yeah. So that's the end of that course, I'm going to just keep cr trucking through and see how much I can get done before we have to stop and make dinner. <laughs>
are going to take a break. It's important to make sure that you're taking a break in between studying, taking care of things like feeding yourself. I'm taking the easy route out tonight. Um, I'm making hot dogs and I'm going to make like little home fries. Um, but I want to take a break so that I can soak those potatoes and make the home fries. Right now, I am on schedule to have to finish this week's coursework by the 19th so i'm still a little behind but i only have one two two sections and then a test that i have to do so i should be able to work through that and then i need to get started on week four because technically i'm supposed to be in week five <laughs> Obviously, I forgot to record an outro. I ended up finishing up dinner and literally just playing the game for the rest of the night. Irresponsible, I know. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.